Oh man, hey everyone. I'm doing something a little different this time. Uh, before I start, real quick update. I want to thank everyone so much uh, for replying to the latest video I did. You know, the video about asking a favor to the subscribers. Amazing response. Unbelievable. You guys are amazing. I can't thank you enough. Um, and please, if you can, still like the Facebook page. And real quickly, I'm going to try as hard as I can to get everyone's request. I got over a hundred right now and I'm just trying hard each week to make good quality videos and teach you but thanks everyone for that uh, amazing blown away and real quick I'm gonna do a shout out baby shout out video baby uh, Bridget Cross this girl right here left me a comment in one of my videos and she said you know you really should do some shout outs and I never done them before I don't know why I just I guess I never thought about doing it so this is for all the fans. I want to do this dedicated to the fans. You guys are amazing, so I want to try as hard as I can to get you more in my videos and interact and more. So Bridget Cross, thank you for this. You can see she's got two of my videos here. And let's start with these shout-outs. Monty Santiago, really great. He comments on almost all my videos. This is for you, man. Thank you for the support. He also recently asked me to mail him... A drawing I did the Dante drawing from Devil May Cry so I shipped it out yesterday and you know if you guys um, have anything you want me to mail a drawing I did I could probably do that for you I, I can't guarantee it because uh, just the demand probably will be hard but m thank you so much man doom tomato here's another one uh, great great support always leaves me comments and you can see his little tomato icon so thank you man thanks for the great help and support 305 and I'm sorry if I mispronounce any of these 305 graph artists I'm assuming graphic artists and he's a new one that I've recently met and he does R2 so definitely check out his channel he just put 305 at the end and his name but thank you man thanks for all the new comments support you've been leaving me Rob Forge here's another great one oh yeah baby Thank you so much. He's always leaving me ones too. And I, I always recognize because it's amazing, cool Batman icon. So thank you, Rob. And appreciate what you're doing for me. And just thank you so much, man. Epic Random Channel. His name is Michael Myers 200. Really great. Really, really great. He messages me a lot. He actually requests me to do some drawings. I did some for him. So thank you, man. If you're watching this, thank you for that. Friday Boredom. Here's another one. He's I've been knowing him for a while back and he always leaves me comments feedback and thank you man I appreciate it and last but not least Sam's Cave this guy is really really nice he's a really good person I can tell and uh, he actually messages me with lots of questions and you know they're drawing questions but they're also about the future about life and that's what I really hope I really hope that everyone who's watching this you know if you if you just want to chat if you just want to talk you know whether it be about what you want to do with your career this and that always please feel free to message me uh I want, you know I really am the type of person that enjoys just talking with people and getting to know them and trying to help them if they have issues in life or anything and you know he was asking me about career wise about drawing and what he wants to do and what I recommend so thank you Sam's Cave thank you all these uh can't do it without you and feel free message me on you youtube inbox is the best way to get a hold of me uh thanks everyone amazing thank you guys let's start this drawing baby hey everyone i've got a very popular request how to draw the gun from portal i've never actually played them but i want to play them so bad they look so fun and uh real excited about this one and I'm going to keep it kind of simple as possible, you know, because there's a lot of detail. It's, you know, when you're doing a drawing of something that's computer animated, you have to leave out certain aspects or do certain things different with the pencil. But let's get started with this drawing. So I'm just going to use simple shapes to get the forms first. And the back part of it is almost like a dome shape. It's almost like an egg shape at the end and it elongates. So you want to get this basic shape in first. 
Very sleek design there. I've got a quick question. If you had a portal gun, what would you do with it? What kind of mischief would you create? If I had one, seriously, I thought about this. I'd shoot it at the grocery store and then hook it up to my house, man, so I have food all the time. That'd be sweet like I put it in my fridge! Like I put the portal one end in my refrigerator and then the other end at the grocery store, man. It'd be sweet. So now if you got that shape, real simple shape, then a little tube comes out. So draw this. And you can see I'm lightly sketching things. And it goes about... Basically, this whole end right here is almost as long as the rest of it. So, you know, like I always say, use proportions, use by eye. I'm kind of just measuring, so I'm making a mark here so I can just tell the total length. But, uh, it goes outward and make a little line about right there. Then it curves up again and the end of it kind of sits just like this. The bottom, oh there it is. The end kind of sits here and then it goes up and down and back down like I said like that. So you got this one part, almost like a real standard gun looking thing. Then towards the end you have these little caps. Like I said we're not going to draw it extreme detail, just to simplify it enough that you can have your own portal gun drawn and say you drew it. So that simple shape. That's it, voila. So now that you have that, you can flesh out more of it. I always say flesh out, that's I don't know if other artists use that term when they're finishing drawings. But on the bottom, you have a big mass here. And you have this other little shape, other sleek, uh, smooth design. It kind of goes down and comes upward. And it wraps over the end. It just kind of wraps over the end like that, all over. Make sure it's nice and smooth looking. And then comes back down. Kind of like that. Maybe a little bit higher. I'm going to make it a little higher here. And erase this. More so like that. You got the basic shapes. Uh, and then what you want to do is make a point about right there, on there, and then one here, and this is kind of angled down, you have the wires coming out. And make a line that comes across, we're seeing part of the top view. So a line that just comes across, like I said, like I said, when you're doing any complex drawing, and like what I just said when drawing Ryu, last drawing, uh, you want to break it down to its elements, you want to sketch, and that's how every artist starts, is with basic sketches, then they refine it and refine it. And so right now I'm just doing the same thing, I'm breaking it down and adding these little shapes. You can see how we started with the biggest shape first, and we sketched that out, and then we got the proportions. And now we're just finishing by adding little touches. We're not finishing adding any final touches, but just little tweaks here and there. Then for this part, you have kind of something that wraps around the middle tube shape, like that. So kind of these dark things that will shade in dark, but very important you get this, there's like a wire that comes out, comes upward and just attaches to a part here. Make sure you get that wire sketched in. see how it's kind of forming like that and uh, right here where it's curving up you have these little square shapes and like you can see I'm bouncing around and that's that's another tip and that's another thing that a lot of uh, professional artists do you know they'll, they'll bounce around from place to place they'll feel they'll kind of draw how they're feeling what should be next so now you got these little square shapes coming in, rectangular shapes. That's all I'm doing. I'm just bouncing around and different things. And very important on the tube, 
down here it's dark but you can kind of see like a glass around it so right here on the you're gonna make a line and this will be clear so you'll see behind that so I'm gonna erase every little mark that's behind this wire we just drew in it won't really matter because the wire will be black anyway but just so you can tell like I said you'll see behind this then on the bottom it gets another wire so it'll just come out and you can make it how you want but kind of all right, so it kind of dips down and curves up like the other one. I really hope all these drawing lessons help you to improve. Please, please, if you can in the comments, please let me know if they're helping you improve. Because, uh, you know, my biggest goal in here is to teach how to draw. That's really what I want to help everyone is to get better at drawing. You know, they're not going to at least improve somewhat. That you got there, you got these little shapes, and this little circle of shape, and then we can draw these little claw looking things. So, this side, and you can see I'm making rough little shapes. I'm not doing anything too detailed, but I'm just making enough of the shape to capture the essence of what it is. Let me check that line is on there. Yep. And same on this side. Uh, kind of connects at a triangular shape, and you got like a little screw. It looks like that's there. So it's going to connect. Kind of like that. I'm making my own little stylized things. But you got these little cage thing around it. So now we got that. Maybe darken around there a bit. We'll do that last. We'll do the outer part last. But right here you have a big line and this line is a little lighter because it's going to have the energy that's inside the tube here. So this, oh crap! And below here is darker. So I'm going to actually shade that in now. Start shading in all the blacks. This is very dark. Let's shade that in. Then let's start darkening major parts. Uh, right here, the best way to darken this outer edge is really just slow steady movements. It'll make a nice curve and bring it up. You might want to make the line a little thicker than you normally would just to show the weight of it. So I'm just doing that. See now the line is just getting wider. And a little here, and darken these lines in like that. So you can see how we're just finishing up here. Uh, so this, there's a light in the middle of this. So I'm just gonna highlight that, and first I'm gonna erase that line we did. Just make a little, little circle, lightly sketch so you can show that light effect and in the background. Make it a little darker in the back so it shows depth. And just real simply draw that on there. Now you got the front part. And you can go back and shade it and that's what we'll do. So really, on these lines, let's do this part. So this part actually has a layer, the side layer, so it goes up. When I say layer, I mean it has this border that kind of hugs it. 
like that. And it comes in. And it actually goes under there. Under the gun. And just comes out like that. Make sure you keep these lines smooth. These lines especially. Like that. And for this, best way to do this is it gets brighter towards the middle. And there's these two little things here. Whenever you're doing things that are in black, it's especially mechanical things, it really looks cool if you make a bunch of little shapes. It kind of adds an effect. But then here it gets lighter as it goes towards the middle. I'm just going to shade that. and leave it very light towards the middle of it. And this is clear, so I'm going to erase. This is completely clear. So, kind of make this darker actually, towards the top. I like that. And finally, got more pieces here. Just kind of make a bunch of rectangular little slots. And this goes around. Like that. And really up here. Kind of a little line. Just a line to show the depth. There's not really a line there. And towards the end of it. Kind of goes in. This is all going to be black and then it's got these two things. Almost reminds you of a camera lens at the end. This one wraps around. And you have this one towards the end that juts out. Kind of like that. It gets skinnier as it gets towards the end. So it's something like that. Something like that. And of course you're going to want to darken that all in. And last but not least, this kind of comes up. Make these lines straight. And the best way to do this is just real straight lines. Don't worry about anything else. And it kind of pivots here. So you get this pivot point. And it's longer than that. It's not too much longer. So you don't want to exaggerate too much. Then it gets skinnier towards that end. And this other pivot point here that just curves in kind of like that. It looks something like that. And the best way to do that is just go dark with your pencil and not worry about, about it too much. Like that. And same on this side. Gets skinny towards the end again. Another point here. Kind of closes up. Gets skinnier towards the end. And just has these little marks. Looks something like that. It's got these little shapes in there. Real simple. We come in and erase any guidelines, any sketchy lines we made. Basically, that's how you draw the gun from Portal. Make all this area dark, which I'm going to do now. Uh, and don't forget, there's a little symbol here. It's uh, first I start sketching. First I start with a very light circle, and then it's got these shapes, triangular shapes. 
like that. Another one fits up here. And the triangle shapes form the circle. So as long as you get within the circle, that's what's important. Kind of looks, kind of looks like that. Not perfect, but enough. You know, it's enough to tell that it's there. And just erase any more. This animal's finishing touches. Then, of course, the wires. Make sure you get these completely black, and then. Just like that. And same with this one. Really take your time when you're doing this so the lines look crisp and clean. You can see how it just connects again. Just like that. And I'll erase areas where it's too long. And just come in. Uh, darken this area. This area is pretty dark. Especially in here, you want to darken. All this gets dark. Make sure when you do these rectangles, you darken the, the slots in so it looks like it's caving in, kind of. Yes, so I'm pretty much done with that. Last but not least, you can just take your finger blending stump tool and uh, just very lightly, you don't want to make it look, look rough because it's a very smooth surface very lightly just shade the bottom of that, shade the bottom here and I'm going to go back and really touch up some of these values to make it pop out more but ultimately that's how you draw the gun from Porto oh yeah baby thanks everyone for watching this was another fun episode Trying to think, I think I got everything in there. I think I'm going to change this part though. This, that's not too happy. This is kind of a one cap and then there's another cap. There we go. That looks better. Holy cow, what a difference. You got one cap and then the cap on the end. So very important. I think I made, I didn't realize that till now. Just say that in. Thanks everyone for checking out. More videos to come. Uh, if you haven't yet, please check out my Facebook page. And thanks everyone. I appreciate it. Thank you.